newspapers.com is more of a local newspaper uh, database that's its strength and um, it has newspapers from all over the world our current subscription is for Missouri and Kansas newspapers however uh, right now we can demo uh, the world collection which is all of the newspapers so the first thing if you're going to use this database you would probably want to create a login just by going up to the sign in. Uh, I already have a login created, but you can register right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. There we go. And so now I'm uh, signed in. Uh, you can do searching by keyword and you can control by state, city, country, uh, and date range. But just to give you an idea of what we have here, I'm going to go to browse and just stick to the United States. And again, the full product has newspapers from pretty much every state. But we typically would only have Kansas and Missouri. So I'll just click on Missouri. Uh, so you can see lots of different cities uh, and towns throughout Missouri. So we'll just pick um, Sedalia since it's close by. And you can see the newspaper holdings from that particular uh, town or city. Uh, so if you click on one of the newspapers, then you'll see the years that are covered. Uh, this is quite an extensive coverage for the Sedalia Democrat. Uh, so I'll just pick a year. And you just continue to go down through the months. Uh, so April and then the days. So each newspaper for that particular day, uh, month. Uh, and then we see the newspapers uh, by page. So this particular Sunday edition has 74 pages. And if we click on page one, uh, there it is. Uh, it shows up. Uh, we can control the size. Some of this is not going to be as clean uh, a scan. So just be uh, wary of that. So, you know, making it larger may be important. Um, we can go through each page uh, if we want. Uh, all of it should be there. It's it's just a scan of the page. So we should have pictures. We should have ads. So if we want to save something uh, for later, we have some a couple options. One, we could just straight up print save it. So we could click on that and we could either do the entire page or we could select a portion of the page. So I'll just do the entire page and we uh, just save it. Uh, I would save it as a PDF, uh, and it's will download the page and should put it into your uh, download um, folder on your computer, and there it goes. So I can open it up real quick, and there's my PDF scan of that page. Uh, you can also clip parts of the paper or parts of the page. So if we're uh, collecting advertisements for suits, say, what we could do is, if we're signed in, do a clip. And I would just move my space there. I could add notes and clip it. And then it would be in my f folder here in under my um, site. So I could also email it, save it, uh, post it to other places. We're not going to bother doing that. But there's my clip, um, which is then saved with my account. Uh, and I can come back to it later and, and do other things with it as as need be so oh, there it is so these are the clips that I have we can test the search so we can try let's just try Warrensburg 
and we'll just look in the state of Missouri. We won't worry about a date range. And this gives us, again, you can see it's actually searching the full text of the uh, newspaper. So it is catching Warrensburg in uh, the different papers. And so we could click on that and it would take us to the page uh, where our term is mentioned. So this is really nice. It, it will do full text searching through the, the copy of the newspaper, uh, which is not something you would get with um, just using a microfilm reader. So that's newspapers.com. 